Hermes who has a Wurlitzer organ and a movie palace that he built a house around. First idea was I happened to, I thought about pick, picking up a Wurlitzer when I was a, a little kid uh, uh, from the Rialto Theater down in Racine. And uh, I got to tell people, my mother used to take me down to the theater and I'd kick her all over the place. And uh, I decided when the organ would play, and I decided then uh, someday I was going to buy that organ. And then about three weeks later, I was born. And whether that's a true story or not, or something I made up, I don't really know for sure. Okay, you're just going to stick to that one, huh? Yeah, as good as any. But all the thousands of organs, they only built three that have five keyboards. And of the three they had, this was the biggest. That means it has the most pipes in it. Okay. And so I decided I wanted that organ. So I called a friend of mine out in Detroit, because that's where it was located, in the Michigan Theater in Detroit. And he said the organ wasn't for sale, but it was in the Michigan Theater. It was still there. So I decided, well, I was going to go over and talk to the guy. And I had asked the city if the post sign no parking behind the theater, mm -hmm. Michigan Theater. We got there about six o'clock in the morning and the trucks were there and there were signs along the sidewalk, no parking today, and people were lining up. The sign said, the only signs they could find that said no parking parade today. So they, they thought there was going to be a parade? In the middle of February. Well, there, there are all over 3,000 pipes in this organ. And the longest pipe is about 20 feet long and it weighs about three, 400 pounds. <laughs> started tearing down all these beautiful movie palaces mm -hmm. because people weren't coming downtown anymore. They went out to malls and those dumpy little theaters. <laughs> and uh, it cost a lot of fortune to maintain a 5,000 seal uh, move, so they would just tear them down. Oh, okay. The whole inside the place looks like the Venetian. Yeah, you were saying earlier that really the Venetian is the was the premier movie palace in Racine, right? Yes, it was. It was a movie palace. The seats came from the balcony of the Uptown Theater. Give me a little quiz earlier about why you want the seats from the balcony versus the floor. Well, because the balcony seats, the floor seats, you don't want those because the floor slope. Okay. If you take them out and put them on a flat floor, then the seats are going to weigh, lean way back because the back legs were shorter to make up for the sloping floor. Mm -hmm. So you got to know that. And usually the theater the seats in the balcony were in better shape because the balcony had, didn't, never hardly ever got used. And a lot of the theaters closed the balcony. They won't let nobody, anybody up there. Mm -hmm. Annually, we usually do the Phantom of the Opera for our organ club. Okay. And then you have a guest organist come in and... Yeah, and Dennis Scott, he plays that full film. That's the original silent film version from 1925. 